Dangerous heat is so widespread in the U.S. that nearly 100 local temperature records have fallen so far this summer. We're certainly seeing more extreme weather uh, due to climate change. Yet in steamy Washington, D.C., it's clear the American response to the climate crisis is quickly wilting, with much of President Biden's climate agenda blocked by a senator from his own party, Joe Manchin from Coleridge, West Virginia. I haven't walked away from anything. Uh, and inflation is my greatest concern. Add to that a recent decision by the U.S. Supreme Court limiting emissions regulations on power plants and President Biden's own visit to Saudi Arabia where he pushed for more oil production and one of the planet's biggest emitters of greenhouse gases is on a path to inaction. There's no sugar coating it. They are major setbacks. In recent polls, 70 percent of Americans said climate change is a crisis. More than three quarters of the population reports being personally affected by extreme weather. Yet when it comes to the top issues facing the country, just 2% of Americans mentioned climate change. We absolutely should not be putting on action on climate change. 30 years ago, it was a problem for the future. It is a problem for now. With no clear political path forward, President Biden is set to take executive action on climate change and may eventually declare a national climate emergency, as dozens of other countries have already done. Yet the president also risks having any of his unilateral moves overturned by the courts. That leaves the world's leading economy on course to miss its once ambitious emission reduction targets, a dangerous gamble for a planet in peril. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.